You're not tired because you're lazy. And no, it's probably not burnout either. What if your body was literally breaking down your own muscle because of one tiny missing molecule? Here's the deal. Your mitochondria, those little energy factories in your cells, can suddenly start falling apart, not from overuse, but from a traffic jam in something called the folate cycle. And just to be clear, I'm not talking about folic acid from your multigrain cereal. This goes way deeper. So if you're constantly exhausted, gaining fat, or you're struggling to build muscle for no obvious reason, this could explain why. And make sure you stick around till the end, where I'm going to break down a supplement stack that may help you with your energy, your strength loss, and your fatigue. So inside almost every cell in your body, you've got mitochondria, little engines that power everything you do, from lifting weights to breathing, even thinking. They're always running. And these little engines have their own tiny set of instructions called mitochondria DNA or mtDNA. Think of it like a repair manual. It tells your body how to keep those engines running smoothly. So here's where it gets a little wild. In a 2025 study published in Natural Communications, scientists gave mice a mutation that broke the mitochondria's ability to proofread their own DNA. And that's a big deal. Imagine trying to make photocopies of that repair manual, but the copier is busted. Pages come out blurry. Diagrams are missing. Some of it's just straight up nonsense. Over time, every new copy gets a little worse, a little more distorted, more errors, more missing information. So what happens when an engine breaks down and a mechanic opens the manual only to find it, it's a manual full of gibberish? He can't fix it. The engine sputters, it stalls. Multiply that by millions of cells and suddenly the whole system is in trouble. Muscles weaken, energy crashes, and the body starts to fall apart from the inside out. All because the instructions, the mtDNA, weren't copied right. Now, when your mitochondria sense that something's broken, they hit the panic button. A built-in emergency protocol called Integrated Stress Response, or ISR. Think of it like your cell's warning light system. When everything's running smoothly, it's green lights all the way, nutrients flow, proteins are made, energy is produced. But when damage is detected, the ISR flips the light to red. It halts activity so the cell can pause, assess the problem, and focus on repair. That red light is helpful for a while. It gives your body a chance to recover. But if the ISR gets stuck and the light never turns green again, your cells stay frozen. Protein production stalls, energy output drops, and over time, this creates a chain reaction. Muscles break down, fatigue builds, hormones spiral out of control. And in these mice, the alarm never shut off. Everything went into emergency mode all the time. This mitochondrial damage triggered the release of the stress hormones FGF21 and GDF15. When FGF21 was triggered, it was like the mitochondria was sending up an SOS flare. Hey, things are breaking down. Send help, it says. And when this hormone is activated, it boosts fat burning, improves insulin sensitivity, all good things in moderation. Then there's GF15, which is another stress hormone, but with a different message. It tells your body to eat less and conserve energy. Again, fine for short emergency, but if it drags on, you'll lose muscle and feel drained. In the study, both were cranked way up, like dashboard warning lights flashing nonstop. At first, those hormones are helpful. They shift the body into survival mode, burning fat and conserving energy. But when they stay elevated for too long, they become part of the problem. They drain resources, break down muscle, and leave you feeling like your internal power has been shut off. But here's where it gets interesting. Another study published in Natural Communications in 2022 found that FGF21, that same stress hormone, may actually protect against aging under the right conditions. In male mice on a low-protein diet, FGF21 helped them live longer, move better, and stay sharp. But when researchers removed FGF21, everything fell apart. Faster aging, muscle loss, and early death. So yeah, the same hormone that shows up in a crisis might actually be the body's way of adapting and surviving. FGF21 is like that one friend who doesn't text back for months. But the second your life is falling apart, they show up at your doorstep with snacks, a flashlight, and a look that says, I've been preparing for this. Now here's where it gets really interesting. When they removed FGF21 while all the stress and muscle loss was happening, researchers found a problem embedded even deeper within the mitochondria, a major imbalance in something called the mitochondrial folate cycle, basically a process your mitochondria uses to build proteins and make energy. And at the center of that process is a crucial molecule with a mouthful of a name. 510 methanol THF. Yeah, try to say that three times fast. So here's the thing about 510 methanol THF. Without it, your mitochondria cannot do their job. 
And in this 2022 study, this molecule was almost completely depleted. And the remaining mitochondria weren't just damaged, they were starving for the one thing that they needed to recover, folate. But get this, there's another form of folate called 5-MTHF. And while it's not exactly the same, it might help support folate levels in the body in a way that matters. But we'll talk about that later when we get into the practical ways to support your energy and recovery. So is this just a mouse problem? Not exactly. Humans under chronic stress, poor nutrition, or even intense training can develop similar mitochondrial issues. Even aging itself can chip away at that folate pathway and mitochondrial health. Bottom line, this isn't fringe science. It's a wake-up call for anyone trying to stay lean, energized, youthful, and strong. Now let's talk strategy. This video isn't about creating panic. It's about preparation and protection, giving your cells what they need to adapt, repair, and stay energized under pressure. It all starts with the folate cycle, the very system that broke down in the study. When this cycle fails, your mitochondria can't build the proteins they need or produce energy efficiently. So the first priority is making sure that this cycle is running smoothly. And to do that, you need the right bioavailable nutrients that actually support the folate cycle and methylation. Here's two supplemental suggestions I have for you. First, 5-MTHF. This is the active form of folate your body can actually absorb and utilize. When compared to folic acid, folic acid is a cheap synthetic form added to cereals and processed foods. But your body has to convert it into a usable form. And our bodies aren't really quite equipped to do that. 5-MTHF is already in the form your body uses. There's actually no conversion needed. This is the form you want to look for when you are supplementing. Then there's methylcobalamin, B12. This helps convert nutrients into usable energy and protect your nerve function. B12 and folate are like teammates. They rely on each other to function properly. Without enough B12, folate can't do its job well and vice versa. But repairing the folate cycle is just step one. Next, you need to support the mitochondria themselves, the energy factories that power everything from muscle movement to brain function. If the folate cycle is the wiring, the mitochondria are the engine. These core nutrients that I'm going to give to you can help restore mitochondrial function, boost ATP production, and keep your cellular power grid running strong. First, we have COQ10, your cell's battery charger, essential for generating energy through the electron transport chain. Then we have acetyl L-carnitine, also known as Alcar. This acts like a fat uber, shuttling fatty acids into mitochondria to be burned as fuel. Then we have magnesium plus the other B vitamins. These are the spark plugs of the metabolism, activating hundreds of enzymes your cells depend on. And then finally, we have creatine, not just for the gym, it's your backup generator, helping rapidly restore energy when stress hormones spike. Then once the foundation is stable and the engines are running, you can go one step further. You can build more mitochondria, improve metabolic flexibility, increase cellular resistance. That's where advanced strategies come in. These compounds I'm about to give you don't just optimize. They help your body adapt faster, recover better, and potentially extend your lifespan. We have PQQ, NMN, and NR. These may support mitochondrial biogenesis, helping your body build more healthy mitochondria from the ground up. Then we have adiopectin support. Now this is done by using ingredients like berberine, green tea, and soluble fiber. This is a powerful hormone that's tied to insulin sensitivity, fat metabolism, and mitochondrial communication. Supporting it may boost energy and metabolic health. And it's important to note that the original study didn't test treatments. These tools are science-backed, but not cures. And they support your energy and recovery. Here's the bottom line. Your mitochondria aren't just about energy. They're the gatekeepers of your muscle, your metabolism, and your long-term health. When they fall apart, it can trigger invisible chain reactions, muscle loss, fatigue, hormone chaos, before you even realize what's happening. But with the right nutrition, smart supplements, and a little strategy, you can build resilience from the inside out. So if you're feeling tired, weak, or stuck, maybe it's not your mindset, maybe it's your mitochondria. This is Dave. Stay strong, stay healthy, be informed, not influenced. If you want to check out another video, go and check this one out, and we'll see you next time on the channel.